just really inspiring and just like for those people that don't know Rebecca was in a serious accident when she was a young child and she was told she would not be able to do a lot of things and you know she I can't imagine what it took to pull herself up and you know get to the stage where she's at now um could you just go over a few little things about like you know what the things that I know you was in a serious car accident uh, when you was 11 years old um what kind of things did the doctors say that you weren't able that you wouldn't be able to do they told me that um i would never be able to work wow i'll never be able to have a child i'll never be able to drive i'll never be able to basically live somewhat of a normal life mm -hmm. um yeah they told me to abort my child when i was wow. pregnant with him. wow i'll give you because of the brain injury, they said I weren't mentally fit enough to look after him. Okay. And me with my spirit, I said, watch me. Wow. And I've wow. Yeah, it's more simple handed, they say. Wow. And how old are you now, sir? 32 now. 32, okay. And how old are you when you had your child, when you fell pregnant with your child? Uh, sorry, I think I just you just cut out slightly there. 22. You're 22, wow. So how would your how would your child now then? Ten. Oh wow, jeez, that's my bad maths. I should have figured that out, but you know. <laughs> yeah, like I was twenty two then, but at that point, mm -hmm. that's when I were going through all the issues with the specialists and everything like that. I got chucked mm -hmm. into me and everything. So. Mm. Wow, that's crazy. So, how did you? I want to know how, like, because some a lot of people they're told they can't do stuff by doctors and stuff like that. Doctors say you can't do this, you can't do that, you'll never be able to do this. What does it take? What 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 inspired you to sort of like you know just push through it and just like just say fuck, I'm I'm gonna do, it, I'm gonna do it. Like, obviously you've got a great spirit. Everyone can see that in you. But what inspired you? What like who inspired you? How did you get this sort of like strength inner strength to like? just start making all these achievements and stuff you want me to start from day get go or do you want me to it, it, start? Start, start 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 it's your story you tell it as comfortably as you can right well as you've probably seen on tiktok i speak freely of my past experiences mm -hmm. experiences i can't mention because of certain things so no I problem won't. but um a lot of a lot of people have took the piss out of me, excuse me, language. Mm -hmm. um, I've been mentally and physically abused. I've been involved in drugs, gangs, all that bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, obviously from the age of fourteen that wow. started. Wow. Um, I didn't get diagnosed with severe brain damage till I was 16. The okay. doctor shut me down. Mm -hmm. So when I moved schools and I started a new high school, my parents obviously informed them. It were a Catholic school. They weren't giving me the one-to-one -one help. Mm -hmm. I got suspended 12 times, kicked out four times. Done for assault twice. My mother took me out in year eight. Oh, when I and moved schools. I was smoking weed ended up getting into that lifestyle got exposed to a whole leap of different things mm -hmm. um obviously i put myself in certain situations but some of it was due to the brain injury mm -hmm. and because of the experiences and the situations that i put myself in mm -hmm. uh, it made me a very strong person wow and dealing with them sort of situations if you've ever been down that life you know mm -hmm. uh, you're faced with a lot of bullshit yeah a lot of conflict, a lot of violence yeah and then when like you've so it's like i'm living a normal life doing that but then yep. you've obviously got the brain injury person yeah and then you're dealing with the brain injury you then get introduced when you're 18 seven years later mm -hmm. to a team of nine, of nine specialists psychologists mm -hmm. psychiatrists brain injury people mm -hmm. you didn't do what you you know what you went before you mm -hmm. were just a normal life you didn't know 
all this work we did. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. So obviously, all these people come in your life, um, tell you this is what's up with you, that's what's up with you, you can't do this, you can't do that, and you're thinking, hold up one minute, you know, I've been living my life for seven years now, you mm -hmm. know, on my two feet. Yeah, I've made wrong decisions. Some could have been down to the brain injury. Some could have been down to myself. But I still did that.